Hey, good morning guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. We're gonna continue the digital series, but we're gonna cross the line just a little bit today for educational purposes only. And I'm not advocating for anything to be done illegally, but in the absence of rule of law, I wanna make sure that there's some information out there. So I received a, a couple of direct messages over Instagram from allegedly a couple of people in a certain Eastern European country uh, that were asking me, hey, all I have is a Baofeng radio and we need some level of secure communications for our small team movements. And uh, I was thinking about it and the technology that we have been talking about for the last uh, four or five episodes uh, would be useful for that situation because at the end of the day, all we were doing was using a radio, interfacing it with a, a computer or a phone and sending message to message traffic. What we were not doing and what is not legal for the most part is layering encryption on top of that. So if this is something you're interested in figuring out for educational purposes only, how to do encrypted data communications on your Baofeng or whatever radio, and just your Android device, stay tuned. All right, so I encourage everybody to take a look at the previous playlist because we talk a lot about the technology that's gonna be used here. And the technology that we're using, especially over radio, is allowed, unencrypted, and if you have an amateur radio license here in the US. Uh, so let's talk about that a little bit, and I wanna give you a little bit of a high-level explanation on how this stuff works. So on our laptop, we are running a piece of software called FL Digi. There's also a corresponding suite that will run on an Android phone called and FL Message. And you can connect those to a radio. But one other thing it does is you can optionally not connect it to a radio. And the reason for it is it uses under the hood a modem called MT63. And MT63 is, uh, one of its strengths is that it was designed for emergency communication scenarios whereby other stations may not have the luxury of having all the fancy hardware to connect a radio to a computer or to a phone. And it relies on a technology called acoustic coupling. So if you guys have seen a movie called War Games, there's a scene where Matthew Broderick takes his telephone and puts it onto a device known as an acoustic coupler. And all it's doing is taking the digital signals that comes out of this computer and then transmitting it over the telephone system. And then the receiving end has a similar system. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're basically gonna take a radio that has a speaker and a microphone, which is just about every radio on the planet, and a phone or a computer that has a speaker and a microphone. And the first part of this demo I'm gonna show you doesn't actually require you to have any kind of license because we're not connecting it to a radio. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is launch the FL Digi application. And it's configured to use the sound card, the speaker and the microphone that are on this computer. And I'm gonna put a very simple message saying, let's say, uh, this is a demo for YouTube. And this is where you would put whatever tactical message you needed. And this will go through in the clear. And now that we have that prepped, we're gonna open up and FL message on our phone. And I'll put a link on where you can download that application. All right, so here at the top, you can actually see that the phone is also running the same MT63 modem and that it's in listening mode. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the uh, transmit button. And again, it's not really transmitting because there's no radio connected here. It's just gonna play audio tones over the speaker on this laptop and the microphone on this phone will pick it up. All right, excellent. So you can see here now it says, this is a demo for YouTube, D-E-K-T-1-R-U-N. So pretty simple. We're just using uh, speakers and uh, the microphone to do this. So all that would be needed to be able to traffic this data in the future is to take your phone, put your message, and before you hit transmit, before you start playing back the audio tones, all you have to do is engage the push to talk button and that will be sent over the air. So that is completely legal if you're in the US, have your technician class license. Uh, I can't speak for other parts of the world. 
Now, what is not legal and the part that would be uh, of use to certain uh, groups that may be uh, under attack by a hostile force is to layer on your own encryption. All right, so there's an app called AES Message Encryptor for SMS. And it's a very simple application that's found on Android. And all you basically have to do is enter in your special uh, text message that you want to uh, encrypt or obscure. Uh, so I'll just put in, I don't know, test message. I have fat fingers and can't type. Okay. And then there's an option to set a password. So this is using AES 256-bit encryption. So the strength of that encryption is based on the quality of your password. So enter in your password, and you have to make sure that the other station knows the same password. Uh, probably you want to come up with some type of uh, pre-planned way of generating the password based on um, either the time of day, day of week, or some other agreed upon protocol. Um, and then all you have to do is hit encrypt. So that is the encrypted uh, message uh, for test message. And then all you have to do is click copy and that'll copy it to your clipboard. Now to connect the dots, basically just paste this as the payload into the uh, FL message app and then go through the acoustic coupling process of hitting the PTT and basically um, posting that. So not legal in the US, but like I said, I want to do a little bit of a public service to um, something that's going uh, on across the world. And again, in the absence of rule of law, this allows basically anybody with any radio uh, to do this. So I hope I don't get in a whole lot of trouble. Again, this is just for academic uh, or instructional purposes. And I just want to put some information out there that using a $25 Baofeng radio, uh, this is an unlocked no plan Uli phone that's super rugged for like, I think a hundred bucks. That's all you really need to be able to do secure encrypted communications. All right, guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared. Oh, and go crazy in the comment section, um, especially all of you uh, ham cops out there. I'd be curious to see what your thoughts are. Again, not advocating for you guys to do anything wrong. Take care, gents.